Today, Governor Newsom announced a moratorium on all new oil fracking projects here in California, a move that's seen as a big victory for environmental groups. The governor's order stops state approval of new hydraulic fracturing until the permits for these projects can be reviewed by an independent panel of scientists. During his campaign, Governor Newsom promised to tighten state oversight of fracking and oil extraction here in California. Joining us now to help us understand what this all means is James Rector, professor of geophysics at UC Berkeley. Thanks so much for coming in, Professor. We, we appreciate you. it. What, what was the governor's motivation for, for this moratorium, you think? Well, I think he's responding to a public uh, outcry against fracking in the state of California that is, um, I'll say, misinformed more than anything else. And so he's doing what the people seem to want. What, what are the concerns that people have with fracking? What are the risks to the public and to the environment? So there's a number of risks um, in other parts of the country, um, uh, fra not really fracking, but uh, water injection has increased earthquakes, for example, in Oklahoma. Uh -huh. um, there's a risk or there's a perceived risk of uh, contamination of groundwater. Uh, there's a p perceived risk of uh, putting chemicals into the earth that are, are bad. Um, there's a perceived risk of uh, damage to in the environment, and I think there's a historical mistrust of the oil industry that, that goes a long way, and we've seen that in the past, that the oil industry has acted badly on many situations. So the governor is saying he, he is going to put a halt to approval of any new permits for, for fracking projects in our state until those permits can be reviewed by this independent panel of scientists. Who are these scientists going to be, and, and what factors are they going to consider? So the scientists, as I understand it, are uh, from Los Alamos, or not, not Los Alamos, but Lawrence Livermore National Lab. Uh, although, really, Lawrence Berkeley National Lab, where I have an appointment, is probably much more knowledgeable in mm -hmm. hydraulic fracturing, and they were very involved in the Aliso Canyon uh, um, gas leakage a few years ago. Uh, what subjects are they going to study? They're going to study primarily the migration and impacts of fracturing fluids into the earth and probably also the potential for earthquakes to be caused by these these fractures. How, how many fewer fracking permits are we likely to see? Um, so uh, roughly um, I think there were 500 plus wells drilled or fracked last year I should say. Mm -hmm. So it's around that that magnitude and that's about 75 percent or maybe 60 percent of the uh, the actual new well drilling has a component of fracturing to it. All right, so the ongoing fracking projects here in California, can, the work can continue at those sites? Um, I'm, no, as I understand it, uh, they will not issue a permit for new so fracking. So work, work has to stop every, this is not just for new permits. This is, this is every, everything has to stop across the board. Well, uh, so, Basically, what has to happen is that if you want to frack a well now, yeah. the well is already there. If you want to frack the well, you're going to have to, you're not going to be able to anymore. Okay. Well, uh, it, the end game here ultimately is to, to try to phase out our reliance on fossil fuels. And do you think that, that mean that's what the governor says? Is that, is that feasible? Well, um, the reliance on fossil fuels is going to drop over time. Uh, and I don't know that California is a large Im has a large impact on that. I don't think this action um, really does that much. Um, but um, the only thing that it really does is put a lot of people out of work in Kern County. Okay. Uh, well, we appreciate it, James Rector, professor of geophysics at UC Berkeley. Thank you so much for Thank your you insight so on this. Appreciate right. it, Heather.